turn editing on. Okay, so when you go there, so you, you cannot turn editing on for this course. You can only turn it on for your course. Okay, so I will just show you how it's done for this particular course. I will show you how to do it for this course. Okay, so when you do your turn editing on, you will basically see the same thing as Smart2 UMS. You will see all the panel as earlier. Okay, let's go to add an activity or resource. So click up here. Okay, so now when you add an activity or resource, this is where you may get a little bit confused because all the icons have changed. Okay, but what they do, the function is the same, only the icon appearance is different. So it takes time to get used to this interface. Okay, so let's go up to the icons. Okay. Okay, the first icon you have is assignment. Are you all familiar with assignment icon? Yes. So you're all, all familiar with assignment. Are you all familiar with this one? Big blue button. Okay. Okay, so not familiar with blue. Okay, so now I will take you to tutorial for big blue button. Okay, so what is big so what is big blue button? You all are, what do you all interact with students using video? Do you all do any kind of live interaction with students with video? No. Video face to face? No. Just speech, right? Okay. So, Big Blue Button is an open source uh, system platform for interacting with students using video. You can have all your class watching your class on video. Okay, and it's uh, it can be done at UMS. I mean, in our system will support Big Blue Button. Okay, so what we will do is I want you to log on to BigBlueButton.com. Okay, I will show you how to use Big Blue Button. You need to open a new window and log on to Big Blue Button. I will show you how it works. Yeah, log, you can log on with your, you can register and log on with your student, okay? While you're doing that, can, uh, can I ask you, yeah. if you use this face-to-face -face video online, mm -hmm. in terms of our table 4, is that considered face-to-face -face or non-face-to-face? It's considered face-to-face. -face. Uh, yeah, I can clarify that because it's F2F, -F because you're actually interacting live with a student. Okay, so it's F2F. -F. So the site is bigbluebutton.org. Okay, so so if you don't have, uh, if you if you are you all familiar with Google Class, Google Classroom, Google Class. So you have Google Meet. Do you all use Google Meet? Meet, M E E T. Okay, so we have different forms of communication with students. One is the standard one, which is Skype. One is the uh, Zoom. Have you all used Zoom? Then we have uh, Google Meet. But this one is open source. Open source meaning it's freely available for everyone to use. So Big Blue Button is designed specifically for lecturers. And if you are doing lecture in collaboration with any of our national university, they will use Big Blue Button. Okay, that's a standard uh, platform for lecture. Okay, so big, you can go to this website and you register. So you register yourself. So you register. You can register. Try now. Try now. Try now. You try now. And then you register. You sign up first. You can sign up. If you prefer, uh, it's, I would recommend you use your UMS account to sign up. You create a UMS, but the password, use different one. Okay? You can put in your email, ums at ums.edu.my, but don't use the same password as your UMS logon. Okay? That's to protect your security. Don't use your same, because this is an external site. So don't use the same password. Your room is ready. Okay, I just wait for you all to log on and then you can start. You can log with the. You can make a new name as well. Name as well. Can can you can make? But your student will see that name when you log. When you put it up, your students will see the nickname. So you log on with your known name. Okay, everything okay. Zul, they are all enrolled for the course. I want to send them a message. Are they all enrolled for the course? Demo course. They are all enrolled inside. The students see the list of students. Okay, everyone is enrolled, right? Okay. Okay, 
Everyone is enrolled, so it's okay. So once you all are logged on, you, t you tell me if you are everyone's got in, registered. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is, uh, we will, I will take the role of the teacher, and I will invite you to my class because you have enrolled in my class. Okay. So in in the big blue button, you actually create a room. The room is a virtual classroom. Okay. I will, I have created a virtual classroom. I'll invite you into the classroom. Okay. So Zul will create a. So this is your classroom. This is your classroom, right? This one. So a classroom. Okay. You copy. Copy. And then you open your demo course, select all and message, message them. Select all, message all, click all and message, send a message. Select all, select all 22 users, yes. send a message. I will send a message to you with a link to the, my class. So if I'm teaching you, you will be a student. Okay, so I click, okay, and then send, Antar, send message. So. If you are, there is no need to use WhatsApp to send a message out to your student. You can use the messaging function inside Smart2. Okay? And the Smart2 uh, or Smart3, they are all, uh, you can use an app called a Moodle Mobile app. You all are aware of Moodle Mobile? Yeah. Moodle Mobile, Moodle Mobile. Okay. You can, if you have Android or Apple, you can actually download Moodle Mobile app in your phone and you can ask all your students to download Moodle Mobile. Whatever you uh, show them here, they can see in Moodle Mobile. You send a message, you see in Moodle Mobile. There is no need to use WhatsApp because the Moodle Mobile will instantly send a message out. I will show you how it's set up later. I will do it. So now we use the normal messaging to contact you. Okay, so sent already, right, Zul? So you should all receive a link to the class. Already? already? Okay, okay. Don't click on the link. Don't click on the link. Okay, go, go to big blue button. Okay, start. Uh, which one? The link? No, no. It's sent to your mail. Sent to your demo, demo course. You will see a message coming in your system. Can oh, you see? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Don't click on the link. I will show you. I will instruct you step by step. Don't click. Don't click on the link. Wait till the class starts. Actually, this is a live class, so you have to instruct the student not to click on the link until the class actually starts. So if I say my class is from 9 to 11, and I tell the student, uh, my class will start at 9 and 11. I leave an instruction, the message, messaging uh, system. Then when I come to class at 9, I set it, I click start. The class will start. Okay, then the students can log on. They can see it from anywhere in the world, anywhere outside, inside the system. As long as... The system will lock the... Yeah, everything is locked on. Everything will be captured. Actually, can indirectly get the attendance. But for legal reason, it's still good to follow the UMS procedure, get them to sign later on. Oh, you follow the legal procedure for others. You your yeah, you will see. You will see that on here. Okay, so now you time? time also timestamp. There's a timestamp there. Okay, so so Zul, you're in. Okay. Logged in that. Okay. Now you can click. You can click on the link. You just click in the link and join the class. Click the link. The link which is shared to you all. You shared, right? The link shared. In your messaging, message, in your messaging, can click on the link. Click and join the class. Ah, there. There, Dr. Mohammed Nazri, come. He joined the class, there. Check your, check your email or your, uh, there'll be a link coming in. You got it, Dr. Siu, you got the link? Oh, you are okay. <coughs> Didn't receive it? Listen only? Uh, listen only, yeah, you can listen only. We can. What's happening, doctor? You cannot get the link. Listen only. Wait, wait, I'll show you how it's done. First, first log on to the class, then we show you step by step. Ravina can get link, link, can join? Okay. Yeah. You all got link to the class? You don't have a link to the class. You are registered doctor for the uh, registered already. Check your email. Check your email. Check your email. Check your email. Yeah. So I don't have 
Can you, I will ask him to resend. Can you give your, what's your name, doctor? Yeah, Mama Halif. Halif. So, to join your uh, log, log, the Muhammad Halif is there, something he has not received. Because, because he's using different. Oh. You need to oh. type, type in this one. You have to Apabha. tell us yang tidak dapat masuk. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay he's using dot com. <laughs> listen only, listen only. Doctor, it's coming because your email is ums.com. Yes. Uh, you have given an email which is ums.com to the admin. So, there, so it will only check for ums.edu.my. Uh, so, is your email dot com or? Um, my one is. Uh, um, I think, dot, I think my Ah, okay, I change, yeah? I change. Zul, it is edu.my, ah, his email. But cannot change it, right? Okay, you just send his email, send him a normal email. Send him a normal email to UMS, his name, ah. What's his name? Halim, Halim, ah. Mohammed Halim, and just send a link by email. Mohammed Halim, ah. Sometimes complete. It's quite. Halim, his name is Halim. Halim, Muhammad Halim. Halim. Muhammad Halim. Muhammad Halim. Thank you. Okay. So, for those of you all who don't uh, receive the link from Smart 2, Zul is creating one, like Dr. Muhammad Halim, right? I will send to you by email. You will receive it in your email soon. Okay? Blue button. Okay. Send. And right. Okay. okay. So you can zoom, mute all user. Mute. We have to mute all user. Mute all user. So, okay. So you can see all of you are actually students enrolled in the class here. Okay? So everyone is enrolled in this class. Now, what you need, what the lecturer needs to do is upload their lecture note to start your class. So how you do that? You click here, add. There's a plus button in big blue button. You can add. You upload presentation. Upload your presentation. Okay? Here you can put in your PowerPoint presentation or your PDF presentation. Okay, so just put the PowerPoint tool. Okay, you all don't try to do this because you all are the student. I'm showing you from the lecture point. Okay, so don't try to add a presentation. So upload. So the system will, I think the system always hang. So it'll upload, convert. Okay, remember something about the big blue button, right? You should upload the presentation before your class starts. Otherwise, it takes time. And so if you have 60 slides of presentation, 60 or 70, it will take a long time to upload. So I would suggest to you, please convert it to PDF, okay? And big blue button will not allow animation in the slide. If you have any GIF or other animation in the, uh, in the slide, big blue button will not allow it because it will convert it to the image file. Okay, but you will see your lecture as an image on the system. Okay, this is the Zul has put up the system with the. You can see the slides. Okay, or each and every student will see the slide. Okay, turn on your camera. Turn on your your camera. Your your camera is. Okay. Yep. Start. Okay. Okay, so Zul Fadli is a lecturer, right? So now the lecturer is giving the lecture. So when you're in your class, you, or you can sit even in your office and give the lecture, okay? Just set up the, your, cam, your webcam and you actually become the lecturer, okay? Now, if all of you all have webcam, you also can be in the class, but don't allow all your students to masuk, otherwise you load the system fully. Okay, so you can give them, so you, can, you can actually add your camera and then you can see, okay? <laughs> 
so, so the teacher is the control on your slide. Okay, so you can see. So if you have two, you will have two hundred students. You will have two hundred. So don't don't try this with the two hundred students because the system will slow down. The more more bandwidth and the slow slow down. Okay, that's what you will see. Yeah. Oh, it depends on the bandwidth. So having the uh, like in a seven you, you can put as many as possible. Putting them as small dot. After about ten, it will come just small symbol. So it's not. I mean, no, no not use. Okay, no use. Okay, so it's. So Zul has the. Now he will show the slide. Now the next thing which you can do in the slide is you can annotate the slide. Annotate means suppose you want to draw something in the slide in your lecture, you can actually have the annotation feature. So we'll go to one annotation feature. Okay, tools. Go, go there is tool. There is annotation. You can draw. Okay, take out your pen. Okay, and then you can do your annotation. Okay, you can draw. Draw. You can draw on the slide. So the lecturer can draw on the slide. Now, the I have seen the. Yep, so you can draw on the slide. Okay. Okay, you can allow, you can make someone the lecturer as well. You, you click on Dr. Lee's name, Dr. Lee here, and then make presenter. Okay, now Dr. Lee, you try and do the same thing. You try and, you are the presenter for that. You are the presenter means you can go to the tools and you can select the. Uh, uh, you, you, yeah, you just. Go up to the button, the pen. The pen, the pen. Uh, uh, you draw right. Yeah, so Dr. Lee is drawing on the slide. So now, if you're if you're having 200 students and you're doing group presentation, right? You don't have to call them to the class all the time. What you do? You make groups. That's that's a feedback from the. Turn off the microphone because we are getting feedback from Dr. Lee's microphone. So remove her as user. Remove her as presenter. Dr. Lee. Dr. Lee. Remove. Remove. Okay, okay. So, others will have the feedback from the system. You may have to reload. What do you did? Remove from class. Remove from class. Don't move from class. Remove from. Mute all user. This is this is used when but we won't use this in the lecture. Basically, you know they use for lecture. Actually, this is used for lecture. Uh, presenter. Oh, so sometimes when you have a group discussion with your student and they are at home and you want them to mark on the slide or annotate, you can make them presenter. Okay. So that's how you use it. Okay. Come, Zul, Zul, we just. Okay, sorry, sorry. Actually, so once you have this, right? Can you click up there, start recording? Okay. Suppose you want to save this file for your MQF for your file. You can actually click on st start recording. This will record your file as a video file with a lecture. So you have a documentary evidence of the lecture note. So you can use it as a documentation for your file. file. You can get your file, download. So you start recording. I think the system is slow. So okay. So this, now the session is being recorded. So your whole lecture is being recorded for the student to replay. In fact, some of the students, the comment which we get from them from e-learning, right? They like the lecture note which is being recorded and given to them, so that they can revise and replay for, for their exam. So that's the comment usually when we do survey, they will say we like the lecturer who record the note and give it to them as a lecture note, so they can hear and before their exams. Okay, so they prefer that one. Okay. So now it's going on, going on, going on, recording, and then you stop. You stop the recording. Stop. Yes. So, okay. Not being recorded. So once you have recorded it, you can download the file in your system. Okay. Now after you finish your class, what you all do? You end the class. Okay. You end the class. So you have the end meeting. Make sure you do this before others. It will keep broadcasting, and you may say something, and it will keep broadcasting whatever you said in the background. So make sure you end the meeting before you <laughs> stop. I will become like those who said Donald Trump say something and everyone can hear because the microphone is on. So don't make sure you end a meeting and then you will log out from the system. Okay, you end a meeting. So now, so now what will happen is that your session will be ended. So that means the big blue button session is now ended. Means there is no more big blue button online. Okay, it goes off off air. Okay, so you just make you send feedback and then, okay. So your recording is there in the same between the screen, right? That's why it comes. Like that. Right. Okay. So now you'll have your activity. Okay. This the virtual classroom. For example, it is biochemistry 101. The, for example, the first lecture is biochemistry 101. 
Biochem 101, okay. You add activity room settings, and then you put in your welcome message. This will be your synopsis of the lecture. It can be introduction. So session can be recorded, wait for moderator. Then you go to, go to your recording settings, okay. Participant list. You can put in all enroll users. Schedule for session. This will be your time. Okay. So if you are decided to with your, but you have to inform your students. For example, on Thursday I will be online from 10 to 12. You tell them, and the lecture will be from 10 to 12. So this is actually your classroom. Okay. So that's your common module setting. Okay. So you put your activity completion. So activity completion means. Okay. Activity completion means you click, you don't change the default. The default is the student should view the lecture to complete it. So that means you have the record that the student actually came in and viewed your lecture. If they don't view your lecture, the activity won't be completed in the system. It will show as an incomplete activity. Okay, so nine text competencies. Okay, so that's all. You can hashtag your lecture. Yeah, you can hashtag your lecture to make it visible on social media. So you can hashtag it. So it, search, it comes up in, a, in your Facebook. Or as a, you can tag it. So anyone searching in Google will find your lecture in a hashtag. Okay, you can hashtag your lecture so visible on. Okay, so okay, so okay. Okay, go observe the the click. You added the the link. Okay, where is that? Ah, the room activity. Okay, okay, remote activity. Okay. Okay, so you have your thing and then you click on, you can, in your, okay, one of the good thing you should do, right, in your introduction, in your welcome message, right, you reinsert the link to your room because in case they cannot access the link from outside, they still can copy and paste, okay, so it's a good practice. Sometimes with our system, go down, internet, then they cannot click and access, so it's a good practice to insert the link into the introduction. So they have an alternative way to extract the link out. So you have everything all, okay, in, right, Zul? Okay, and then you save, 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 save and display, save and display. Okay, so now you have your big blue button here inside your course. So the big, you can have, for example, in your lectures, because it's considered F to F, you can, some of the lecturer even do five to six lectures in 14 weeks on the big blue button. So you can do the lecture via big blue button. Okay. But try and get some feedback from your students and ask them whether they prefer online or whether they want face-to-face -face actually in the class. Because based on our survey, right, majority of students say they want to see the lecturer in the class. Maybe because our system in Sabha is a little bit slower, so they prefer to come in the class rather than here there's a lag. I suspect it's because there's a lag time between the lectures. Okay, so that's the first activity. Okay.